North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has declared war on K-pop, referring to superstar bands such as BTS as a vicious cancer corrupting North Korean youth with their attire, hairstyles, speeches, and behaviors. Imagine having this haircut, forcing people to work in camps and thinking a little bit of culture, bad thing. Kim Jong-un has the kind of hair that makes me happy I'm bald. Amid increasing cultural influence from South Korea, the 37-year-old Lego-headed North Korean dictator is imposing even harsher penalties on citizens caught listening to perverse K-pop music. Because Kim Jong-un has the best taste. This is the same person that wanted to sleep with Sarah Sanders, and Donald Trump wanted her to do it. I'm telling you, you gotta take one for the team, Sarah. You gotta do it. You know what that means, taking one for the team. Of all the bad things Kim Jong-un has wanted to do, Sarah Sanders is the worst. <clears throat> Internal documents smuggled out of the Democratic Peoples of Korea by the Seoul-based news source Daily NK show that those caught singing, speaking, or writing in a South Korean style could be sentenced two years at a work camp and K-pop smugglers can even face execution. North Korean state media even warned that the popular K-pop music genre could make the nation crumble like a damp wall if something isn't done. You're a wannabe nuclear superpower and your greatest threat is a band that has their own combo with McDonald's? It's pretty good. South Korean entertainment has long been smuggled across the DPRK border. First it was in cassettes, and then it got kind of upgraded. People were sending flash drives, sometimes even dropping them via drone. Can you imagine if that's what your life was like? I mean, we spend half our night just going through Netflix, trying to find something to watch, and then giving up and watching nothing. Meanwhile, these people are out in the field hoping a drone drops a flash drive with with a bit of music on it for them. Oh, we're lucky. As per the leaked document, state officials have been ordered to search computers, text messages, and notebooks for the bootleg South Korean content, and Kim Jong-un is so desperate to stop the K-pop influence that he's turned to Donald Trump. Yes, Donald Trump, and hackers have actually intercepted some of the iMessages between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump. I have that here. BTS, big problem. Bowels, Trump, soiled. Is this about my diapers? No, but I see pants backward video. K-pop so bad, I need your help. I don't think there's anything I can do. But American president has the greatest power. I'm not president until August. WTF? I lost the election, but I had a pillow manufacturer fixing things for me. Maybe pillow guy fix BTS problem? I Google him. He does crack and is anti-vaccine. I know, he's terrific. Also in the news, Marjorie Taylor Greene says she doesn't believe in evolution, which makes sense. That's a hard concept for her to grasp since she hasn't evolved. Republican Representative Louis Gohmert asked if we could change the moon's orbit. And here's a Republican nurse trying to convince us that vaccines are magnetic. Dr. Tenpenny's testimony about magnetic vaccine crystals. So this is what I found out. So I have a key and a bobby pin here. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. Sticks to my neck too. Oh. Yeah, so if somebody can explain this. And even though it's falling off her, she's still trying to make Any us questions? believe that it's sticking to her. Hey, Tommy, just letting you know that you remind me of a gender neutral potato head. Magateers. I think Tommy might be demon possessed. Magateers. A quick look at your channel shows you are nothing but an uninformed leftist zombie. 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 Magateers. Let's see your video on all of the election audits after they conclude. Magateers. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can find out about all my latest content. I'm a stand up comedian. I have three albums on Spotify. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. I'm also on Cameo if you want to book me for a personalized roast or greeting. If you're out, please wear a mask, be kind to each other, have an awesome day.